Revelation of St. John the Divine. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show to his servants those things which must soon come to pass. He sent and signified by his angel to his servant John, who bore record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads and they who listen to the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first to arise from the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us a spiritual kingdom to God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he will come with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, even the men who pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail over him. Even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and companion in suffering, and in the hope of Jesus Christ, was in the island which is called Patmos, because of the word of God and because of the testimony of Jesus Christ. The spirit of prophecy came upon me on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, What you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus and to Smyrna and to Pergamum, and to Thyatira, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spoke to me. And as I turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one resembling the Son of Man, wearing a long vestment, and girded round his breast with a golden girdle, his head and his hair were white as wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet were like the fine brass of Lebanon, as though they were burned in a furnace, and his voice was as the sound of many waters, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun, shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of death and of shield. 
Write therefore the things which you have seen and the things which are the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks are the seven churches. To the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things says the omnipotent one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know your works and your labor and your patience and how you cannot endure those who are ungodly. You have tried those who say they are apostles and are not, and you have found them liars. And you have patience and have borne burdens for my name's sake and have not wearied. Nevertheless, I have something against you because you have left your first love. Remember therefore from whence you have fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come to you very soon and I will remove your candlestick from its place unless you repent. But this you have in your favor. You hate the works of the Nicolaitenses, which I also hate. He who have ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of my God. And to the angel of the church, a Smyrna, write, These things says the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know your works and your suffering and poverty, but you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil will cast some of you into prison, that you be tried, and you will be oppressed for ten days. Be faithful even to death, and I will give you a crown of life. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos, write, These things says, he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know your works and where you dwell, even where Satan's seat is, and you uphold my name, and you did not deny my faith, even in those days when that witness of mine appeared, that faithful one of mine who was slain among you where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there those who hold the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit adultery. And also you have those among you who hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitenses. Repent! or else I will come to you very soon and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to you to eat of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no man knows except he who receives it. And to the angel of the church in Tyre write, These things says the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and whose feet are like fine brass from Lebanon. I know your works and love and faith and service, and also your patience, and your last works are to be more abundant than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you, because you allowed that woman of yours, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach 
and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent, but she did not repent from her fornication. Behold, I will cast her into a sickbed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unless they repent of their deeds. And I will smite her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts, and I will give to every one of you according to your works. But I say to you, the rest of you in Thyatira, those who do not have this doctrine and those who have not known, as they say the depths of Satan, that I will not put upon you another burden, but hold fast to that which you already have till I come. And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give authority over the nations. And he shall shepherd them with the rod of iron, like the vessels of the potter. They shall be shattered, even as I was disciplined by my father. And I will give him the morning star, he who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the church, and saw this right. These things said he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a name that you are alive, and yet you are dead. Awake and hold fast to the things which remain, but are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before my God. Remember, therefore, just as you have received and heard, so hold fast and repent. And if, therefore, you do not awake, I will come against you as a thief, and you shall not know at what hour I will come upon you. But you have a few members as Sardis, who have not defiled their names, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes, the same shall be clothed in white robes, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he who is the Holy One, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no man shuts, and shuts and no man opens. I know your works, and behold, I have set before you an open door which no man can lock, for you have but little strength, and yet, you have obeyed my word and have not denied my name. Behold, I turn over those of the synagogue of Satan, who say that they are Jews and are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try those who dwell upon earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which you have, so that no man take your crown. He who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall not go out again and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the church in Laodicea write, These things says, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. 
I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. It is better to be either cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. You say I am rich and my wealth has increased and I need nothing. And you do not know that you are miserable and a wanderer and poor and blind and naked. I advise you to buy of me gold refined in the fire, that you may become rich and white remnant, that you may be clothed so that the shame of your nakedness may not be seen and anoint your eyes with salve that you may see. I rebuke and chastise all those whom I love. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, even as I also overcame and have sat down with my father on his throne. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. After these things I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up here, and I will show you things which must come to pass. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat resembled a stone of jasper and sardonyx, and round about the throne was a rainbow resembling emeralds. Round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and noises. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne was a sea of glass resembling crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about it, and in front of it were four animals, full of eyes before and behind. And the first animal was like a lion, and the second animal was like a calf, and the third animal had a face of a man, and the fourth animal was like a flying eagle. And the four animals had each of them six wings, and they were full of eyes within, and they had no rest day and night, saying, Holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And when those animals give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, Thou art worthy, O oh, our holy Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and by thee they are, and by thy will they are, and were created. And I saw on the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book, written within and on the back and sealed with seven seals, then I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven above nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look on it. And I wept exceedingly, because no man was found worthy to open the book, neither to look on it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep not, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The scion of David has prevailed, and he will open the book 
and the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book from the right hand of him who sat upon the throne. And as he took the book, the four animals and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, and every one of them had a harp and a cup of gold full of incense, and these were the prayers of the saints. And they sang new praise, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and had redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And has made them for our God kings and priests, and they shall reign on the earth. And I looked and I heard as it were the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the animals and the elders, and their number was 10,000 times 10,000, and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and all that are in the sea and all that are in them, I heard saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing, and honor and glory and dominion forever and ever. And the four animals said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshiped him who lives forever and ever. I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four animals saying in a voice as of thunder, Come and see. And I looked and beheld the white horse, and he who sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second animal say, Come and see. And there went out another horse, and it was red, and to him who sat on it was given power to take away peace from the earth, that people should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third animal say, Come and see. And behold, I saw a black horse, and he who sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four animals say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see that you do not damage the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the fourth animal saying, Come and see. And I looked and beheld the green horse, and the name of him who sat on him was Death, and Sheol followed after him, and power was given him over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with swords and with famine and with death and with the wild beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the sake of the word of God and for the testimony of the Lamb which they had. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, do thou not judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? And a white robe was given to every one of them, and it was said to them that they should rest yet for a little while, until the time should be fulfilled when their fellow servants and their brethren should be killed also as they had been. And I looked when he had opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of the heaven fell to the earth, 
even as a fig tree casts its green figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind, and the heavens separated as a scroll when it is rolled separately, and every mountain and island shifted from its resting place. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the commanders of thousands, and the rich and the mighty men, and every bondsman, and every freedman hid themselves in caves and in clefts of the mountain. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel, and he ascended from the direction of the rising sun, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, do not hurt the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God upon their brows. And I heard the number of those who were sealed. It was a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephtali, 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. After these things, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of every nation, and people, and kindred, and tongue stood before the throne and in the presence of the Lamb, clothed with white robes and with palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, who sits upon the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four animals, and fell before his throne on their faces, and worship God, saying, Amen. Blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might to our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these who are arrayed in white robes? And from whence did they come? And I said to him, My Lord, you know. And he said to me, These are those who came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne shall shelter them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither shall they be stricken by the sun nor by the heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne shall shepherd them and shall lead them to fountains of living water. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about the space of half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stood before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. 
And another angel came and stood at the altar, and he had a golden censer, and abundant incense was given to him, that he might offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it upon the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels who had seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with water, and they were poured upon the earth, and a third part of the earth was burnt up, and a third part of the trees were burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. Then the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain of flame with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a star from heaven, burning as though it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was eclipsed, and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars so that the third part of them was darkened, and the day was darkened for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld and heard an eagle, having a tail red as it were blood, flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, 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 to those who dwell on the earth by reason of the other sounds of the trumpets of the three angels which are yet to sound. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven upon the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit like smoke belching from a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and to them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their brows. And they were commanded that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. Their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. So in those days men shall seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like horses prepared for battle, and on their heads wore as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were like faces of men. And they had hair like the hair of women, and their teeth were like teeth of lions. And they had breastplates, as though they were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like scorpions, and they wore stings in their tails, and they had power to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, who was the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abadu, but in Greek his name is Apollon. 
The first woe is past, and behold, two more woes follow after. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels, which are bound by the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, and those which were prepared for that hour, and for that day, and for that month, and for that year, so that they might slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen was two hundred thousand thousand. I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses, and the vision, and those who sat on them. And they had breastplates of fire, and of jackson, and of brimstone. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. And by these three plagues was the third part of men slain, by the fire, and by the smoke, and by the brimstone, which issue out of their mouths. For the power of the horses was in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails were like serpents and had heads, and with them they do harm. And the rest of the men who were not killed by these plagues neither repented of the works of their hands. That is to say, the worship of devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which can neither see nor hear, nor repented of their murders, nor of their witchcraft, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. And I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and the rainbow of the cloud was upon his head, and his face was as though it were the sun, and his legs as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the land, and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars. And when he had cried, seven thunders sounded their voices. And when the seven thunders had spoken, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and do not write them. And the angels which I saw standing upon the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things which are therein, and the earth and the things which are therein, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be no more reckoning of time. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God will be fulfilled, as he had proclaimed to his servants, the prophets. And the same voice which I had heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which stands on the sea and on the land. And I went to the angel, and as I was about to say to him, Give me the little book, and he said to me, Take it and eat it. It shall make your belly bitter but it shall be sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little book out of the hand of the angel and ate it, and it was sweet as honey in my mouth, but as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Then he said to me, you must prophesy again about many peoples and nations and the heads of nations and kings. And there was given to me a reed like a rod. And the angel stood, saying, Arise and anoint the temple of God and the altar and those who worship therein. But leave out the outer court of the temple, and do not anoint it, for it has been given to the Gentiles, and they shall tread 
the holy city underfoot for forty and two months. Then I will give power to my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the Lord of the earth. And if any man desires to harm them, fire will come out of their mouths and will consume their enemies. If any man desires to harm them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to control the sky so that it will not rain in those days and have power over waters to turn them into blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they have finished their testimony, the wild beast which ascends out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them. And their dead bodies shall be upon the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. And their dead bodies will be seen by the peoples and kindred and nations and tongues for three days and a half, and it will not be permitted to bury their dead bodies in graves. And those who dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented those who dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies saw them. And at the same hour there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the number of men killed in the earthquake was seven thousand, and the survivors were frightened, and they gave glory to God. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe comes quickly. And the seven angels sounded, and there were great rumblings of thunders, saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders who sat before the throne of God on their seat fell upon their faces and worshiped God saying, We give thanks to thee, O Lord God Almighty, who is and was, because thou hast taken to thyself thy great power and has reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and to reward thy servants, the prophets, and the saints, and those who revere thy name, small and great, and to destroy those who corrupt the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his covenant. And there were lightnings, and thunderings, and voices, and an earthquake, and a great hailstorm. And a great sign was seen in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, traveling in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another sign in heaven, and behold, there was a great fiery dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail cut off a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to be delivered so as to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a male child who was to shepherd all the nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and to his throne. 
And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by God, that they should feed her there a thousand and two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but did not prevail. Neither was their place found any longer in heaven. Thus the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast out on the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the deliverance and the power and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have been accomplished for the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before God day and night, is cast down. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not spare themselves even to death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you, and his wrath is great, because he knows that his time is short. And when the dragon saw that he was cast down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to a son. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly from the presence of the serpent to the wilderness, and to her place where she would be nourished for years and months and days. Then the serpent sent a flood of water out of his mouth after the woman, so that he might cause her to be swept away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened his mouth and swallowed up the water which the dragon had spouted out of his mouth. And the dragon was enraged at the woman when he went to make war with the rest of her children who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus. And as I stood on the sand of the shore, I saw a wild beast rise up out of the sea having ten horns and seven heads, and upon his horn ten crowns, and upon his head blasphemous words. And the wild beast which I saw was like a leopard, and his feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his throne, and great authority. And one of his heads, was as though mortally wounded, but his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wonder about the wild beast. And they worshiped the dragon because he had given power to the wild beast, saying, Who can prevail against him to fight him? And there was given to him a mouth that he might utter boastful things and blasphemies, and power was given to him to make war for forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God, to blasphemy his name and his dwelling place and those who dwell in heaven. And the power was given to him over every tribe and kindred and tongue and nation. It was given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And all who dwell upon the earth shall worship him even those whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If any man has ears, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another wild beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. And all the power of the first wild beast before him was exercised by him. And he caused the earth and those who dwell therein to worship the first beast, who deadly wound was healed. And he performed great wonders to such an extent 
that he could even make fire come down from heaven on the earth and the sight of men. Beguiling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the wild beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. And he had power to give life to the image of the wild beast and to cause all those who would not worship the image of the wild beast to be killed. And he compelled all, both small and great, rich and poor, free men and slaves, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their brows, so that no man might buy or sell unless he who has the mark of the name of the beast or the code number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding decipher the code number of the beast, for it is the code number of the name of a man, and his number is 666. And I looked, and lo, the Lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand in number, and having the name of his Father written on their brows. Then I heard a voice from heaven, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of a great thunder. And the voice I heard was like the music of many harpists, playing on their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne, and before the four animals and the elders. And no man was able to learn that song, except the hundred and forty-four thousand, who were redeemed from the earth. These are those who were not defiled with women, but they are pure. These are those who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These were redeemed by Jesus from among men to be the first fruits to God and to the Lamb. And in their mouths was found no deceit, for they are without fault. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Serve God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And another angel, a second, followed him, saying, Babylon has fallen, that great city which made all nations drink of the wine of the passion of her whoredom. Then another angel, a third, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his brow or on his hand, He also shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is mixed with bitterness in the cup of his anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and before the throne. And the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever. And those who worship the beast and his image will have no rest day or night. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their works will follow them. And I looked, and lo, I saw a white cloud, and upon the cloud sat one resembling the Son of Man, having on his head a crown of gold, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, and after he cried with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, he thrust his sickle upon the earth, and the earth was harvested. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, and he also had a sharp sickle. 
Then out from the altar came another angel who had power over fire and cried with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vineyards of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vineyards of the earth and cast the grapes into the winepress of the wrath of the great God. And the winepress was trodden until the juice which came out reached even to the horse bridles. And the circumference of the winepress was a thousand and six hundred furlongs. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is fulfilled the wrath of God. And I saw what looked like a sea of glass mingled with fire, and those who were victorious over the wild beasts and over his image and over the number of his name were standing on the sea of glass and had the harps of God. And they were singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, O King of ages. Who shall not revere thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. All nations shall come and worship before thee, for thou righteousness has been revealed. And after these things I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels having the seven plagues came out of the temple clothed in pure and fine linen and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four animals gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power and no man was able to enter into the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. And I heard a great voice saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the seven bowls of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth, and there came a severe and malignant sore upon the men who had the mark of the beast, and upon those who worship his image. Then the second angel poured out his bowl upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his bowl upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. Then I heard the angel who had charge over water say, Thou art righteous, O holy one, who is and was, because thou hast condemned them. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they deserve it. And I heard another out of the altar say, Yes, O Lord God Almighty, true and righteous, are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun, and power was given to him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched by intense heat, and they blasphemed the name of God, who had power over these plagues, and they did not repent to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the wild beasts, and his kingdom was darkened, and men gnawed their tongues from pain, and blasphemy the God of heaven because of their wounds and sores, and did not repent of their deeds. Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl upon the great river Euphrates, 
and his water is dried up. That's the way of the king of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the wild beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, who work miracles which go forth to the kings of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. And behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he must walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together in a place which is in the Hebrew tongue, is called Armageddon. And then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices, and thunders, and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, the light of which had never happened since man was upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give to her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away, and the mountains could not be found. And great hail, about the size of a talent, fell out of heaven upon men. And men blessed me, God, because of the plague of the hail. For the destructive force of the hail was exceedingly great. Then came one of the seven angels, which had the seven bowls, and talked with me, saying, Come. I will show you the condemnation of the great harlot who sits upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed adultery, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her adultery. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet wild beast, inscribed with many words of blasphemy, and having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls. And she had a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her adultery on earth. And upon her forehead was a name written that not all could understand. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great amazement. And the angel said to me, Why do you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the wild beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns. The wild beast that you saw was, and is not, and is ready to come up from the bottomless pit and go to be destroyed. And those who dwell on earth whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world shall wonder when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and now whose end has come. Here is understanding for him who has wisdom. The seven heads are seven hills on which the woman sits, and there are seven kings of whom five have fallen, and one is, and the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he shall continue only for a short time. And the wild beast that was, and no longer is. Even he is the eighth, and is one of the seven destined to be destroyed. And the ten horns which you saw are ten kings, who have received no kingdom as yet, but receive authority as kings for one hour with the beast. These are the one accord, and they shall give their strength and authority to the beast. 
They will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them. For he is the Lord of lords and King of kings, and those who are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Then he said to me, The waters which you saw, where the harlot sits, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns and the wild beasts which you saw shall hate the harlot and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God has put into their hearts to do his will and to be of one accord and to give their kingdom to the wild beasts until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman whom you saw is that great city which have dominion over the kings of the earth. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted by his glory. And he cried with a mighty voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, and has become a habitation of those possessed with devils, and the shelter of every foul spirit, and the shelter of every unclean and detestable bird, and the shelter of every unclean and lawsome wild beast. Because all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath, and the kings of the earth have committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the power of her trade. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, O my people, so that you may not become partakers of her sins, unless you be smitten by her plagues. For her sins have reached up to the heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she has rewarded you, and return to her a double portion according to her works, in the cup which she has mixed, mixed for her double. For as much as she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, give her so much torment and sorrow, for she says in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore her plague shall come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be burned with fire. For mighty is the Lord God who judges her, and the kings of the earth who committed adultery and lived deliciously with her will weep and mourn and wail over her when they see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Woe, woe, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour you have been condemned. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys that merchandise anymore. Never again will there be cargoes of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linens and purple and silk and scarlet and every kind of aromatic wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manners of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and synonym, and perfume, and spices, and myrrh, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and cattle, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and hides, and slaves, and the fruits which your soul lusted after are departed from you, and all things which were luxurious and goodly are lost to you, and you shall never find them any more at all. The merchants of these things, who were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, and they shall weep and wail, saying, Woe, woe, that great city, which was clothed with fine linen and purple and scarlet and laid with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour these great riches are destroyed. And every shipmaster 
and all the travelers in ships and sailors and all those who labor at sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like to this great city? And they threw dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Whoa, whoa, that great city, where all who had ships on the sea were made rich by reason of her preciousness. For in one hour she is destroyed. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and angels, apostles, and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great milestone and cast it into the sea, saying, So shall that great city Babylon be overthrown with violence and shall be found no more at all. And the sound of harpers and musicians and singers and trumpeters shall not be heard in you again, and no craftsman of whatever craft he be shall be found any more in you. And the light of a lamp shall shine no more at all in you, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in you. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, for by your sorceries were all the peoples deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all who were slain upon the earth. And after these things I heard a great voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah! Salvation and power and glory and honor to our God, for his judgments are true and righteous, for he has condemned the great harlot who has corrupted the earth with her adultery and has avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And a second time they said, Hallelujah! And her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four animals fell down and worshiped God, who sat on the throne, saying, Amen, hallelujah. And a voice came out from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants and you who worship him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, like the voice of many waters, like the sounds of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, for our Lord God, omnipotent reign. Let us be glad and rejoice and give glory to him, for the time of the marriage feast of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. And it was given to her that she should be arrayed in fine pure linen, clean and white, for fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he said to me, Write, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Then he said to me, These words of mine are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said to me, do not do that. I am your fellow servant and one of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, I saw a white horse, and he who sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had names written thereon, and one of the names written no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and he called his name the Word of God. And the armies which were in the heaven 
follow him on white horses clothed in fine linen, pure and white. And out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he will rule them with a rod of iron, and he will thread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he had a name written on his vesture and on his thigh, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. He cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together for the great supper of God that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains of thousands and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bound, both small and great. Then I saw the wild beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to fight against him who sat on the horse and against his armies. And the wild beast was taken, and with him the false prophet, who wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived those who had received the mark of the wild beast, and those who worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And the others were slain by the sword that came out from the mouth of him, who sat upon the horse, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he seized the dragon that the old serpent, which is the tempter and Satan, who deceived the whole world and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal over him, that he should no more deceive the nations until the thousand years should be passed. After that, he will be loose for a short time. And I saw thrones and those who sat upon them, and judgment was given to them, and the souls of those who were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshiped the wild beasts, neither his image nor had received his mark upon their foreheads or on their hand, lived and reigned with their Christ these thousand years. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power but they shall be the priests of God and of his Christ. They shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years come to an end, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, even to China and Mongolia, to gather them together for war and the number of them is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on a broad plain and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and consumed them. And the devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where also are the beasts and the false prophet and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose presence the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was no place found for them. Then I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the throne, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death 
and Sheol gave up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to his works. And death and Sheol were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, which is the lake of fire. And whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the very God shall be with them, and be their God. And he shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor wailing, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Then he said to me, Write, for these are the trustworthy and true words of God. And he said to me, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will freely give of the fountain of living water to him who is thirsty. He who overcomes shall inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But as for the fearful, and the unbelieving, and the sinful, and the abominable, and murderers, and those who commit adultery, and magicians, and idolaters, and all liars, their portion shall be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came to me one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues. He talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God radiant as a brilliant light, resembling a very precious gem, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. It had a wall great and high, and it had twelve gates, with names inscribed thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east were three gates, and on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he who talked with me had a measuring rod of golden reed to measure the city and its gates and its wall. And the city was laid four squares, the length the same as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve furlongs, twelve thousand paces, and the length and the breadth and the height were equal. And he measured the wall thereof, a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the wall was constructed of jasper, and the city itself was pure gold, resembling clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardus, the seventh crystallite, 
the eight, Borel, the ninth, Topaz, the tenth, Chrysoprasus, the eleventh, Jacinth, the twelfth, Amethyst. And the twelve gates were adorned with twelve pearls, one for each of the gates, and each gate was made of a single pearl. And the great street of the city was a pure gold, as it were transparent glass. But I saw no temple therein, for the Lord Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. The city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God brightens it, and the Lamb is the lamp of it. And the people who have been saved shall walk by that very light, and the kings of the earth shall bring their own glory and the honor of the peoples into it. And the gates of it shall not be barred by day, for there is no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honor of the peoples into it. And there shall not enter into it anything which defiles, nor he who works abominations and lies, only those who shall enter whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, gushing out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the great street of the city, and on either side of the river, was the tree of life, which bore twelve kinds of fruits. And each month it yielded one of its fruits, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the peoples. And that which withers shall be no more, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they shall neither need a candle nor the light of the sun, for the Lord God shines on them, and they shall reign for ever and ever. And he said to me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God, who is the spirit of the prophets, sent his angel to show to his servants the things which shortly must come to pass. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, heard and saw these things. And when I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed these things to me. And he said to me, Do not do that. I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. Then he said to me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust will continue to be unjust, and he who is filthy will continue to be filthy, and he who is righteous will continue to do righteousness, and he who is holy will continue to be holy. Behold, I am coming soon, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter and through the gates into the city. For without are the vicious and the magicians and the immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves to tell lies. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, 
Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and he who is thirsty, let him come, and whosoever will, let him take of the living water freely. I testify to every man who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add to these things, God shall add to him the plagues that are written in this book. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his portion from the tree of life and from the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He who testified these things says, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, all you holy ones. Amen.